Hey everyone, before I even say anything else, I just have to take a moment and say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I'm like, hang on a second, because last week, <laughs> before I posted my part two haul, I had 33 subscribers, I think. Now I have 222 as of today. And I'm just like, what happened? Like, that is crazy to me. And I have like, 3,000 views on the video I'm my mind is blown so I just want to thank you guys like genuinely I'm so appreciative I'm so excited to like that's really cool so welcome all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing and watching and being super nice you guys your comments literally like make my whole day I love reading them I love replying to you guys I changed my seat so I'm a little bit lower so you guys can see my background a little bit better if you guys can tell it's kind of a new background. I got this cool like bookcase thing for all my perfumes and body mists. I also have my lotions down there. I have a couple more perfumes there too. I want to do like a perfume collection at some point and show you all of them. Um, also, someone wanted to see how I store all of my stuff. So this is like a short version. Here you go. I might do like a more in-depth version and like show you everything else. Um, I just got this from Amazon. Oop. I got this from Amazon and then I have all my perfumes on acrylic risers. Those are also from Amazon. So yeah, I'll probably do like a more in-depth video, but that's not what today's video is. Today, I thought I would show you guys my exchange bag, okay? Because my mom and I are going to Bath & Body Works today. I begged her because I was like, look, I don't know how their rules work. So if I have this shower gel for $3 and then I want to exchange it later on and everything's full price again, I don't know if they'll let me. I don't know how their rules work, especially since they're like changing it up. So I really wanted to go before the sale ends. Today is 7-7. Seven, seven. I think it ends this Sunday. So it's literally like last few days. Today is Thursday. I don't even know if they're about to have anything. Last time I went there, it wasn't that good, but that was the beginning of the sale. Now it's towards the end, so I'm hoping they have like the summer collection. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I plan on exchanging. My mom has one product in here um, because she ordered, they had like a candle sale right before semi-annual sale. I think they were like $12. So she bought a bunch of candles because she's a candle girl and one of the ones she bought came broken. So she's just wanting to um exchange it and get the same one so yeah i'll show you guys that and then as soon as she gets home we're gonna go to the store and after that i'll definitely do a haul and show you guys everything i got i actually have a receipt for everything in here except three items I'm really scared for those three items if i can't return it i can't return it that's fine i just don't want to get like screamed at by them I know that's like unreasonable. I'm a very unreasonable person, especially when I leave my house. My house is my comfort zone. So making a return, yeah, that is like nails on a chalkboard. I'm not excited for this. I'll show you the three um, body mists that I don't have a receipt for. So we have Sunshine Mimosa, Sea Island Shore, and Into the Night. Um, if you guys saw my, I think, first SAS haul video. I showed you a couple of my exchanges, but I have a lot more now. This one, I want another into the night. This was just broken when I got it. It never sprayed as you can see. And I did try like using a different cap, but still it was just defective. I'm sad that the packaging changed. I thought that they were doing faceted, but then someone commented on my video and said, no, they just are doing new packaging with a moon on it and I was like oh my gosh a moon I love moons although I do think this is still prettier I'm happy it's not just in black faceted this one is just very fresh and like powdery I can appreciate the scent but I just know I won't wear it I might use it as a room spray but I don't need it so I want to exchange that for something else sunshine mimosa just is not it's not like, I don't love it enough. So I want to exchange it for something I love. Um, it has bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. There's just nothing really special about this scent to me. And 
I would rather have something else, you know? Not knocking it if you have it though. And then I have two body creams. I have You're the One and Into the Night. You're the One. A lot of you guys are commenting that I got like a bad version maybe or like a bad batch because it is very fragrant, but even if I did, I don't think I would like the actual scent because it has rose in it and I'm just really not a rose person. I love the packaging. I wanted to love the scent, but I just don't think it's for me. And then into the night, this I feel like is bad because what's up with me and bad body creams? First of all, it's very puffy. Do you see? And I feel like things only get puffy when they're bad when it comes to body care. I don't know why. The other reason why I think it's bad, once again, I'm getting like barely any scent. And Into the Night is such a, fra a fragrant scent. It literally smells like a perfume. So I just have a feeling this is maybe run its course. Um, plus, they have new packaging, so I'll know that it's brand new. Yeah, I definitely just want a regular Into the Night body cream. And then the last lotion was Country Apple. Yeah, this one. Hey, quit licking my carpet. This, I was saying, wasn't like apple-y enough. It was a little too fresh. I like very fruity scents. Um, and this one is fruity. It's just not fruity enough. Like, I wanted it to be apple juice or like a fresh cut apple and it's just very fresh. I don't know. I was going to give it to my friend, but I don't think she likes apple. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Last three things I'm exchanging are all shower gels because I don't know. I just don't prefer to use Bath & Body Works shower gels. I know that like pretty much every single body wash ever has some sort of fragrance in it, but I just feel like these have a lot and I already have kind of like dry sensitive skin. So I'd rather just keep Bath & Body Works out of my shower personally. If you guys can do it, good for you. I wish I could because these literally smell amazing. Like, oh my gosh. Ooh white t-shirt i forget i'm like so stuck on all the like fruity fun scents i don't wear stuff like this but i do have it in my collection oh, i forgot how good it is on the rare days i do like to smell like a boy white t-shirt is definitely the way i go um fresh getaway Ooh, so good so like like a like a little lemon zest you know I really like it but i just would rather have lotions or body mist i honestly don't know how this is gonna work i've never exchanged anywhere let alone a bath and body work so i don't know if it's like okay you got three body mists and three shower gels so you need to go pick those like do you know what i mean or is it like you get a credit and you just do that i don't know and what my mom is returning is this candle. It's like all in plastic because it's broken and it's literally falling out. Um, but this is Southern Magnolia. I'll put a picture since I don't want to take it out of the box. It's definitely not my type of candle. It's very fresh, very much Magnolia. Um, so yeah it's a little mature smelling for me i have all my receipts here i try to be as organized as possible i like literally wrote into the night um you're the one country apple i want to be like very prepared so i'm not like holding people up <laughs> um so yeah pray for me i'm terrified i don't like doing stuff like this but i really want a couple more things i'm dying to get some more pink watermelon blast oh my gosh like literally just thinking about it, my mouth is starting to water. It, I also want some more Midnight Swim. <sighs> Midnight Swim, where's my... Look, y'all know I love Saltwater Breeze, but I just feel like Midnight Swim is like Saltwater Breeze's cousin. You know what I mean? Because it's very much aquatic and fresh. 
but just in a different way. So if you guys like Saltwater Breeze, try Midnight Swim. Let's go to Bath and Body and get our exchanges. So, about the exchanges, yeah, that didn't work out. Um, they didn't have anything. They had one table of SAS left, and there was literally two boxes on it. And all it was was a couple Cotton Candy Cloud fragrance mist and one watermelon lemonade fragrance mist. I already have the watermelon one and I already have whipped berry meringue so I wasn't getting cotton candy clouds. So yeah, definitely upset about that. I mean, it was a month ago now so I have moved on but that day I was annoyed. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my stuff if, cause I don't know like how their rules work. So I don't know if I can just save it until the next semi-annual sale but also, I don't really want to do that because the products are aging, like, I don't know. So even though the exchange video didn't work out how I wanted it to, I realized I never filmed a haul of the stuff I bought right before semi-annual sale. I bought a couple of fragrance mists and some other things, and I never showed you guys. And some of them were like my new favorite scents, so I really want to show you. So I thought, why not just add it to the end? of the exchange video the air just went off so hopefully the audio is a little bit better but yeah today i'm just gonna give you guys a little haul all right so i'm showing you stuff from two shopping trips they're both online purchases one the first one i'm gonna show you is all fragrance mist and then the other one is some other goodies so first up we got the new summer girlies we got beach nights and summer melody Everyone has talked about these because they're amazing. Beach Nights is Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. I'm pretty sure everyone has smelled this because everyone wanted it so bad and then they finally brought it back. And it's amazing. I'm so heartbroken that I only got one. I was waiting for them to go 75% off during semi-annual sale and I just, I missed out. So now I know going forward, if I really want something, just get it at 50%, only if I really want it. And I definitely wish I got more of these. I really, really like it. It's so good. It's like a nice fluffy, sweet scent. And I love those. And then Summer Melody, candy, candy vibes. Sweet, it is golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. That's it. We love a fruit scent with a vanilla scent. Like, you could never go wrong. And next up, we got two from this line. So we got Sea Salt and Lavender and then Midnight Swim. Sea Salt and Lavender. Ooh, it is so... It's like very grown up. Yeah. The fragrance notes are Fresh Sea Salt, Blooming Lavender, and Sun Drenched Sands. For some reason, not sure why. Sea salt and lavender really reminds me of copper coconut sands. And that's weird because there's no notes in there that like are super similar to the ones in here. Um, so I'm not sure why. It's not that it so much smells like copper coconut sands. It just really, really reminds me of it. Like it's a heavy, like strong, but really good scent. I don't know. This is one that you have to just smell for yourself and see if you like it. I know a lot of people don't really like the lavender scents, especially girls, because it gives like a masculine vibe, but being a boy, I kind of like that sometimes. So I feel like lavender is the perfect mix. And the sea salt is like weird, but in a good way. It like mixes with the lavender really nicely. And then Midnight Swim. I am so upset I wasn't able to get backups of this and I'm even more upset that I couldn't get lotion. They had body creams and lotions of this 75% off so long, but I was waiting for like this stuff to go 75 so I didn't buy this. Guess what? They both sold out so I was double screwed. Midnight Swim is everything I love in a scent. It's aquatic, it's fresh. It's definitely Saltwater Breeze's cousin, and that's probably why I love it so much. The fragrance notes are Blue Waters, Beach Flower, and Fresh Coastal Air. 
Let's get into it. Oh my gosh. Last three I got from this little shopping excursion were these three. Watermelon Blast, pink watermelon blast. I would take a bullet for you. It just, it smells so freaking yummy. Oh my God. So the fragrance notes are juicy pink watermelon, sugar, strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. I totally forgot about that lime zest and it's all making sense to me now. It's so good. It's so sweet and candy-like and sugary. And then that lime zest just like rounds it out so well. Oh my gosh, I, I smell like candy every time I wear this. This is another one I'm super sparing with because I didn't get a backup and I didn't even get a lotion and I'm bitter about it. But it's like a fresh watermelon drink, but also like super sweet and candy. Like it's so good and I love it. Okay, so next one is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. This is a repackage of the Confetti Cake Pop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Smells good at least. Um, yeah. Definitely can taste it in my eye. Anyway, I can't breathe. But the fragrance notes are Creamy Cake Frosting, Rainbow Sprinkles, and Vanilla Bean. So it's like... Creamy cake on top of creamy cake on top of creamy cake. I like it because it isn't super like in your face gourmand. I'm here, you know, like Merry Christmas cookies or Christmas cookies. Um, that one's very strong in a good way, but like sometimes you just want something a little bit lighter. This is that. It's not light, but it's lighter. It's still strong but it's so good and so sweet and creamy. So if you like vanilla, if you like sweet scents, that one is a must, like you have to have it. And then last one I got, Berry Waffle Cone. I wanted this one really bad because I heard everyone talking about it from last year, maybe the year before. Everyone talked about Berry Waffle Cone and it smelled amazing, so I had to have it. I think it was an online exclusive actually. But yeah, this is the packaging. Very much gourmand. Very much in your face. This one just smells like the Captain Crunch, the berry ones. I think I've heard other people say that. It literally smells like food. Like, oh my gosh, it's so good. This has sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. This is just such a rich, decadent scent and it's bomb love the purple juice yeah i loved it i literally am in love with every single one of them and i'm upset i didn't have backups but at least i have them hopefully they'll come back love them all right next little haul I got some stuff for other people. I thought, why not switch it up? I did decide to get a couple hand soaps because they were 75% off. And who doesn't need hand soap? Everyone needs hand soap. So I actually got three each of each scent. So I got four different scents, but I got three of each. Um, I got Sunshine and Lemons. This one is Yuzu Grapefruit and Sunrays. This is just a nice kitchen lemony scent and I really like it. And the packaging on all of these is adorable. Next, I got Bright Summer Days. This is Coconut Milk, Sunny Star Fruit, and Warm Sands. I think I really liked this one. Yeah, this one is really, really good. This in a fragrance mist form, I would buy that. Can they please make a fragrance mist with like coconut milk as an ingredient? Next, we have Coastal Watermelon. It has like a cute little bike on it. I am a watermelon whore. I love watermelon. Oh, literally smells like a watermelon drink. Like it took everything in me not to take a sip just now. And then last up, I got Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I was watching a bunch of SAS hauls, obviously, and everyone was getting the scent. And I was 
was like, that sounds really good. So when I saw it, I was like, why not? The bourbon notes are marshmallow, fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. Mmm. Mmm. So that is it for the soaps. Back to me. <laughs> I got two fragrance mists. Oh, why am I yelling? Sorry. I apparently did get a backup of vanilla confetti sparkle. Good to know. I don't have to be so sparing with that one. Um, I do actually remember now this was the last one like from the whole line that was in stock when it was 75% off. So definitely had to buy one. And then I did get watermelon lemonade. Okay. Watermelon lemonade and I go way back to when it was in the pink packaging with the flowers. I remember going to, this was my favorite Bath and Body store. It was so cute. It was in Davis in California. If you guys know, it's like a college town. And it was like in this super tiny store. It was like in a little shopping mall. And they had so much stuff packed in there, but it was like nice and organized. And I must have been there during SAS because I remember red boxes and we were like digging for stuff and it was like very cheap. So it had to be SAS. I just wasn't aware at the time. And I remember getting this and I was in love with this scent. No one could tell me anything. My mom absolutely hated this because it is so sweet. Like... It's so sweet. It's definitely like polar opposite from pink watermelon blast, even though they're both watermelon scents. I'm telling you, they're so different to me. Like this one is like sweet and refreshing. This is like, wow, sweet candy in your face. But I love it. And it just does make me a little bit nostalgic because I used to have that one and I remember it was my summer scent. And it has watermelon ice, sparkling water, and sugared lemon. Life's never been so sweet. You know what? You're right. And that sparkling water, I think it's, it's explaining that pow, like, I get it. That's like what's different about it. That sparkling water and the fact that it's not watermelon, but it's watermelon ice. It's just like an icy, super sweet watermelon jelly rancher. So if you like smelling like candy, this one, be careful though, because it's very strong. And then last items I got are all lotions. So first up, these two lotions, I got Cotton Candy Clouds. Like I said, I didn't need cotton candy clouds because I have several whipped cream meringues. I think I have two body creams, two body lotions, and two body sprays. But you know what? I'm a sucker for clouds and I love the scent. I'm not going to open it because I have others. So I'm not going to open it, but yeah. Packaging is hecka cute. It is spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. So cotton candy. And who doesn't like cotton candy? You're lying if you don't like cotton candy. And then next up, I got watermelon lemonade to match with the spray. I guess I'll open this one up. Ow. I was literally just gonna open this and ask you guys how your day was and then my freaking finger got blown off. It honestly smells even better in lotion form. All right, so we're on to the last items. I got some body creams. I got one berry waffle cone. So yummy. Like this one just brings a smile to my face. It's so yummy. And I love this purple packaging. It's really pretty. And then I got vanilla confetti sparkle. Can't really smell this one. Let's try it out. Ooh, it's a lot stronger in my opinion in the body cream. It's like more, it's giving me that um, Mary Cookie vibe where it's like very gourmand. And then last ones, I got two Beach Nights. I ordered this stuff <clears throat> after the sprays. So I was like, I'm not missing out. I'm buying two. So I bought two. This one, once again, smells creamier and sweeter. So it must be like a body cream thing. I love beach nights. Like, I just want to go to the beach, spend the day there, put on my beach nights, 
and smell amazing. By the way, I haven't really been wearing this stuff or using it. I think what I've used the most was the watermelon because as you can see, there is a dent in it. But other than that, I've been like not using it because I, I like will put all the stuff I'm gonna use for a video in a bin. So obviously I'm not like using it. But I finally filmed this video, so now I can enjoy them. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was like kind of weird. It started off as an exchange video and then it turned into a haul, but I'm a mess. My videos are gonna be a mess. All right, you guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm feeling parched. It's really hot. I think I'm gonna go jump in the pool, to be honest. So, be nice when it is. I definitely got a lot of good treats. Let's do a top three, okay? Immediately these two. Immediately. Oh god. See, I'm not good at like making decisions like this because I can't. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? No, no, no. This one. Okay. Okay. Top three. Are you ready? Okay, I'm trying to pick which will be number one. I'm struggling big time. Struggling. Okay. Like, literally, if my life depended on this, I don't know if I'd be able to make a decision. Okay, I'm sorry. These are both tied for first place. We have Midnight Swim and Pink Watermelon Blast. Ooh, wait. Yep. It's a match. It's official, you guys. Pink Watermelon Blast and Midnight Swim can be mixed because it smells amazing. Wasn't I already saying Pink Watermelon Blast is giving like a refreshing vibes and then obviously Midnight Swim is refreshing so it just makes it more aquatic and refreshing. Mm. Y'all try those two together because I'm telling you it smells really good right now and I'm obsessed. All right, and then my third, Beach Nights. So good, so good. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.